Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. I am your host, Sam DJ Lumberjack. You're watching I'm Not a Professional, but wait, I am. And it's now time for our world news and current events with Tall Greenberg. Tall, welcome back to the show. Good to be back. How are you? Uh, doing okay. Doing okay. A little tired today. so um, We got more show. We're still doing yeah, the show. We're Episode three. Show. No one could shut us down yet. Apparently not. Great. Now, of course, no one's uh, raving about it online, but I think people are watching. I think I think it's getting going. You know, yeah, you know, it takes a while to get traction and, and everything. And there's also just so much media out there. You know, standing out beyond the crowd is just going to take a lot of time. And then eventually, as we get better and better, get more traction, then you know, hopefully, we'll continue to improve the product and uh, ourselves in the process. Absolutely. All right. Well, we've got a lot more going on. You know, Syria. Uh, and Iran and that whole whole mess is is really convoluted yeah. and messed up. We got Ukraine still going on, yep. protests in Hong Kong, yes, definitely, and yep, be, uh, yeah. stuff going on domestically. Right. Uh, you know, someone just There's, recently resigned. Uh, we had an incident with the Secret Service yeah. uh, and all that stuff. So, where would you like to start? Okay, well, I was figuring we would do uh, talk about uh, Hong Kong a little bit, uh, then uh, go on to. The uh, the Syria crisis, and then move on to um, maybe some of the domest- uh, domestic politics, including uh, the Secret Service, but also um, the Senate races, which are there are interesting turns of developments uh, this week as well. So, yeah, this is the October uh, podcast, so yes, the uh, yes. the month of October. So we want to gear up for the election coming up on November fourth, and also we'd be remiss not to talk about this huge Ebola crisis because if you ask me, isn't this how some zombie movies start? There's like there's a, a there's an virus. outbreak and I just heard there's an outbreak in Spain now, right? Yeah, well, I mean, not an outbreak, but someone has been contracted in Spain yeah, with Ebola. I mean, eventually, what will happen? I mean, I think it's if, if you know, there will be a point where either they'll have flights will be canceled from West Africa or there will be some kind of quarantine system. Right now, they're not not doing that. They're still flying people in and out there. But it's inevitable that um, you know, people are going to be uh, becoming infected with Ebola. Fortunately, it's not airborne. So you really have to be in contact with uh, you know, bodily fluids and, and whatnot to actually get infected. So you got to be sp- spit swap in there, huh? Yeah, it's, it's people can do their research on exactly what Ebola does, and it's pretty nasty. So I don't really want to talk about okay, that. Okay, Hong Kong. So Hong we had these major no, protesters, um, mainly by students, correct? Uh, well, students, young people, a lot of you know, a lot of this sort of generation. A lot of them grew up, you know, after the handover and the. The, uh, the wink and nod policy was pretty much like, okay, well, you're our part of China, but we'll allow your local institutions to function, the rule of law. Um, the court system is very different in Hong Kong. You know, it's obviously, you know, the, the British occupied it. Um, you know, it was under the British system. And, but it's um, been independent for at least it, 10 years, it, 15 years. No, it's been part of, it's part of China. It's still part of China. They have a little more autonomy, but uh, Beijing still controls, you know, the, the, essentially the chief executive is a part member of the Communist Party and appointed by, by China proper to, to rule it. But and it's far more Western than any sure, other place no, in China. And that, and I mean, it's like friction, Times Square. You know, there's the like a Times Square kind of thing. Because um, in 2015, essentially, they were supposed to, they, they were supposed to have an ability to have an election. And to the Chinese, an election means, okay, we will select some candidates, and then you will choose. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Okay. So So start. The point is in China than an election. Okay. In China, when you have when you have an election, and uh, much like you had, you know, certainly in the Soviet Union, the same kind of thing is there were, you know, there were people could vote for certain candidates. Of course, those candidates were independent of the state party, uh, the the state party, under the party congress, or what their processes would say. Okay, we're going to select several candidates and you'll be able to choose amongst them. They've all been pre-approved um, by the state apparatus and, 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 and thoroughly vetted and therefore they're trusted to sort of you know c- continue to support the regime and also um, they're going to be you know under the thumb they're basically going to follow orders from Beijing. That was the line and then you know the students basically said well if we are going to have real democracy picking candidates for us is not the way we want to go. We want to actually have a direct election of, of have have a person run and be able to elect them with the, with the vote. And so that's where the difference lies. And part of the, the, the reason it's been mishandled is the chief executive now is kind of a hard liner and really hasn't, you know, hasn't sort of ignored the students um, counting on Beijing backing him and the police did as well. And 
uh, it, it sort of puts uh, China um, in, in a rock and a hard place. On the one hand, they definitely don't want um, that, you know, a color revolution or, or that kind of kind of protest to spread to China proper. But they also don't want to come down too hard on it because it'll, it'll, it'll potentially cause a backlash in Hong Kong, other parts. And of more China. dissension. And more dissent. But also the other, the international element, this is where it also gets a little bit more interesting, is that uh, they sort of, uh, before this erupted, um, you know, in talks with, with Taiwan, that was sort of the line as well. If you guys ever did rejoin China, you know, we would respect your system internally. And so in Taiwan, they're looking at this and saying, well, you're supposed to have two systems uh, between uh, mainland China and Hong Kong, and you're not really respecting that. So how could we trust you know, uh, China proper to allow us to be to have a local autonomy and control of our institutions if, in fact, you're, you're willing to crack down on the protests. So they've waned somewhat. Uh, China is sort of taking a wait and see attitude and, and trying to sort of wait out the protests.